Hey YouTube, it's your girl Shelly Speaks and I wanted to come on here really quickly and do a video about winterizing. Um, I don't want to say winterizing, that doesn't sound right, but just dealing with the dryness that you get in your scalp while having sister locks in the winter. Um, um, if you don't know, I'm sorry I keep saying um, but I live in the Midwest, I live in Kansas City, so because I live in Kansas City, we get winter and like literally everything gets dry. Um, my scalp gets really, really dry, and um, you basically have to find ways to deal with having a dry scalp. Because as you know, with sister locks, in the beginning stages especially, you don't put any type of oils or whatever in your hair. At least you're not supposed to. But I believe after like the year mark, if you choose to, you can use oils or whatever. Um, I typically use the sister lock spray. Or rose oil or what is it called rose water rose water or um, even like the lavender water or whatever but that's not the point of this video the point of this video is to talk about things that you can do in the winter in the Midwest or even wherever you're at if it gets dry so my very first tip will be <clears throat> excuse me wash your hair with distilled water Yes, I said distilled water. Distilled water is actually soft water. Unless you have like a water softener in your house or if you live someplace where there is really soft water, distilled water is the best water to wash your hair with in the winter time. The reason being is it actually will add moisture back into your scalp because typically water that comes from your faucet has been ran through all types of processes to clean it out and then they also add stuff into the water as well like i know here for sure we add like fluoride um i think like iron and i don't know what all else gets added into there but mind you just imagine putting fluoride and iron in your scalp you see what i'm saying so just being able to use distilled water is distilled water is basically just rainwater and it's really really soft so if you do not have a water softener in your house you might even try to see if you can get like a water softener for maybe like the kitchen sink or for your shower um or like a filtered shower head that you can put on but a really really easy route and it honestly is not expensive is distilled water i've never used more than two gallons of distilled water washing my hair typically more than a gallon. I've never really used more than a gallon, maybe a gallon and a half. So I'm just literally saying like, I think it runs about 89 cents a gallon. You can get best choice is distilled water. All right, so my next tip, if you have a dry scalp in the winter months, um, try using a dandruff shampoo. If you do not want to go to like a dermatologist, and I will tell you what my dermatologist gave me in a minute, but before you get to that point if you do not want to go to a dermatologist you can use neutrogena tea gel and they also have generic versions of it as well um it stinks because tea gel is for like tar gel so it, it does it stinks but it does help for me it didn't help enough for me to not go to the dermatologist but i did see improvement while using it it again is called neutrogena tea gel shampoo all right so the last things on my list oh yeah also for dealing with dandruff before I get to these last two um, apple cider vinegar apple cider vinegar and distilled water mix it together in a spray bottle after you wash your hair or no do it before I always did it before spray I would always braid and bend my hair and then I'd spray my scalp down with apple cider vinegar and distilled water and I let it sit on there for at least 10 to 15 minutes as a pre-soak. It kind of helps to, apple cider vinegar is really, really good for your skin. So it helps out with the scalp. And it's also like an antifungal because a lot of times dandruff is also like a fungi. And it's also known as like dermatitis. So it helps kill some of that stuff off. And it's good for the scalp. Another option that you can use is Listerine and distilled water. Yes, I said Listerine, the stuff that you swish in your mouth to make your breath nice and fresh. Now, not the blue one, you wanna get the original, the brown one. You mix it again, half and half, distilled water and Listerine. Put it in a spray bottle, shake it up, and you spray it on your scalp. Now, with Listerine, you do that one as your last. Apple cider vinegar, you do it before you wash your hair. Listerine, you do it after you wash your hair. You spray it on your hair, on your scalp, 
let it sit on there for about a good 10 15 minutes rinse it off your scalp feels so good after you do a listerine one it really really does all right so we're gonna go ahead and hurry up and get this wrapped up the last two items on my list are actually prescribed by a licensed dermatologist so these options are if you've tried everything else and it just don't seem like it's working you can go get you some ketoconazole shampoo um my dermatologist prescribed this for me and he gave me several refills i have to go back actually um around the 28th or 29th for my yearly checkup so i can get some more shampoo um i wash my hair with that in the summertime I wash and the funny thing is in the summertime I use less of it in the summertime I use more of the suave daily clarifying and I just use that for one wash um, in the winter like the winter time fall time I use that solely to wash my hair with and basically what you do with it is um, I usually do it about the second wash maybe the second or third just depending on how long it's been since I've washed my hair but I'll let it sit on there for about 15 minutes. And remember that jerry curl cap that your daddy used to use? Because my daddy used to use one. <laughs> the plastic jerry curl cap. I put that on my head. They still sell them at the dollar store. You get like a whole pack of them for like a dollar or two. But yeah, I shampoo my hair up. I lather it up after like the second wash. You want For me, I want my hair clean before I just let shampoo sit on there. So I lather it up really, really well. And then I put the jerry curl cap on there and I let it sit for about 15 minutes because that's what the instructions are, is to let it sit for 15 minutes. Now, doctor prescribe wise, they tell you to wash your hair three times a week with that. You already know, we don't need to do all that. So I typically wash my hair once a week with that shampoo and let that sit on there for 15 minutes. And as you can see, my scalp don't have no dry spots in it. Now, had this been a couple of weeks ago? Well, no, I'm gonna say about a month ago because it was starting to get a little dry then. I would have had dry spots. And I just got my hair retightened as well. Um, also, the last one that I actually had to start using because the shampoo wasn't doing enough. This right here, it is called Fluconazole Acetonide Topical Oil. Again, distilled water half and half in a spray bottle and I know y'all are probably like well why does she use distilled water for everything distilled water is basically it's a good I don't know how they actually use the terminology but basically it's good to mix oils with okay carrier well no some of the stuff they call carrier oils I don't know I'm not that doggone technical with all these terms but basically distilled water if you are trying to mix something and dilute it Distilled water is really, really good because like I told you before, distilled water actually adds moisture into stuff. So I always dilute stuff half and half with distilled water and I put it in a spray bottle. Um, if you want to know some place to get really, really cheap spray bottles, Dollar Tree. Everything in the store is a dollar or less. So go to Dollar Tree, grab about five or six spray bottles and you can get you a permanent marker and write on the bottle what the heck you got in the bottle. And that way you'll know what you have. Um, for apple cider vinegar, I do recommend Bragg's with the mother because you want to get, you know, all the good stuff. Um, I will say, though, that does kind of clog up the sprayer a little bit. So you'll have to take it out every now and then and pull off the mother because it'll kind of clog it up. Other than that, I can't think of anything else to tell y'all. So... If you have any more questions about what to do about your sister locks in the winter time or when they're just really, really dry and your dry scalp, please feel free to ask away down in the comments below. You can always like, subscribe, and share it with other people if they are going through the same issue. I know I struggled with it for a while before I finally figured out what to do. So I figured since I've kind of found a remedy that works for me, I thought I'd share it, especially because it's that time of year. So thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day. Bye.